Ah baby, që na një lejtli Shkun dy mujsh po më edhe dhe i treti Sanet po ndrojnë të mundu më koni njeti Fa jo është jam jam a jo va shikejti Lejti shoqet që të fojnë si javë lejti Shpejti të harojnë si të bojnë frer për veti Mas leti ish konë mi dhonë fonë ma Para se me pas dy sh... Hey guys, this is Charlie Hill and welcome back to my channel In today's video, I will be reviewing all the products by Lakme it's their new range, it's their 9 to 5 natural uh, range with some aloe vera plus honey kind of a range they have come across with and it's actually a new by them and yeah, if you're not following me on Instagram like guys, what are you up to? like, what are you up to? why aren't you? why aren't you following me on Instagram? make sure you do follow me on Instagram I'm gonna leave my ID somewhat here as well as down in the description box below so make sure you do follow me on instagram so without having up a lot let's move on with this video so today i will be talking about a new launch by lakme it's 9 to 5 a natural skincare plus a makeup and i have purchased a few of them and today i'm gonna be reviewing every sort of thing which i have got from myself and i'm gonna be telling you what i feel good and bad about though i haven't actually tried out any of the lakme products still yet uh, frankly speaking um, i think two to three uh, years back i have tried their uh, lakme iconic mascara which was uh, pretty good but i don't know why i'm not into so much of uh, skin uh, skin care or makeup by lakme uh, i don't know i kind of do not feel okay with that though I love their lipstick, their casual, uh, their mascara, uh, their eyeliner but I haven't tried it yet. So if you want me to try any sort of a Lakme product or you want to do, uh, want some sort of review about any Lakme products, do hashtag try it Shalini and write the product name whatever you want me to try by Lakme and I hope I'm gonna really do that for you guys so let's begin with this video first of all I'm gonna talk about one of the first product which is a foundation I don't know why I never reach for Lakme uh, products uh, especially the foundations I do not find it worth it because come on like they have like four to five ranges and in this natural range they have also included foundation with I think exists five or six shade in their range so I do not pick it up because of the shade range they have available in their foundation so I do not pick up because I do not find it worth it at all I feel like my penny will be wasted there so I do not pick up the foundation I really want Lakme like, to come up with a wide range of shades in their foundation I feel like it's really it's difficult for the darkest to the medium to the darkest skin tone to get into the hands of Lakme like, foundation do I have that they have more in a fair nudie undertone but why medium to the deepest undertone are not included in their range so that's the one basic reason i never used to go for a lakme at all this range container foundation too but i did not get that so the first product which i'm going to be talking about is this one this is a natural 9 to 5 aloe aqua gel with 100% pure aloe vera gel oh my god the time when this range was popped out this was like a first a kind of a seller i don't know why everyone talked a lot about this product like everyone was raving about this product that like this is so good this was this and this was that the packaging they have such a beautiful theme going on with this a mint kind of a cream and that is turning out to be a very rosy um kind of uh, packaging so i really love this range has included a very nice good good looking packaging so the packaging is like a plus for me so open this up so okay we get a very beautiful jar with this kind of packaging so by this product we get a three years of usage and its retail cost 200 rupees and we get a 50 gram of a product here so let's open it this is my first time i'm trying out in front of you guys so here you can see which is really very clear 
kind of gel. Um, oh my god, it smells so strong. Let's move on with the texture. And I have it here. So it has a very transparent kind of gel. And it's really, very really light. The texture is very smooth, which is really impressive. It's very lightweight though, very light, it do not feel heavy at all. Now I can see that it has a little bit of a shine but we're gonna like left it for a few seconds so that we can absorb whether the liquid gets absorbed quickly or not because I feel like aqua, like uh, aloe vera gels quickly absorbs into your skin so we're gonna see whether it absorbs it or not quickly absorbs into my skin it's not at all sticky it's perfectly absorbs into your skin and it's really better till now like better so let's talk about what the products do claim and what the product says which is really important to know so it says that city pollution will make your skin look dull give you or give your skin the natural goodness of aloe vera and protect it from you daily city pollution enriched with 100% pure aloe vera filtered from a fresh leaf this non-sticky light gel smoothen and hydrate a stretched skin it protects skin from pollution includes a dye dryness and dullness so your skin stays deeply protected looks natural brightened and breathe all day long with its primer like benefits Okay, it says that it works as a primer, pretty good. Uh, it is a pretty canvas for your daily skincare and makeup. So there is a warning mention here that if you feel something which is irritating while using this product, just raise off your face very well with a clean water and you are strictly not to be used this product next time at all. Uh, as it says that it works as a moisturizer and as well as a primer. So let me beat my face with this to be worked as a primer, right? So I'm gonna test it on my beautiful face right here. Though I'm not beautiful, I'm just... So let's begin with that. So, okay. I only have an issue with this smell which is like something. I'm not getting into it. I don't like smell so much but never mind. This is my first time trying out in front of you guys so let's begin with that. That was too much. Okay so there is a product over here which is just here on the cap so I'm gonna use this one. So let me see whether it's work as a primer or not. So I'm gonna apply it at the center of my face exactly like that. I think I've taken a little bit in a much amount which I shouldn't do but never mind I'm gonna massage my face very well with this I'm feeling like I've applied a face pack face pack okay I think I've taken a little much amount of this but never mind this is gonna work as a moisturizer as well as a primer so that is what we have to see how does that works I did get absorbed skin and I will be right back. You can see the gel actually get absorbed into my skin pretty well. So it somewhat feels like a little bit sticky which is actually a good thing because if I'm gonna apply a foundation over it I need a very sticky base to apply it. So it's pretty well like sticky so let's put my base and then I will be right back. So as I have done my base well and now it's the time to test out the second product and the second product which I'm gonna be talking about today is their finishing powder. Okay so this is the finishing powder. This says that it's a finishing powder influence with aloe vera and a green tea extract and uh, we get a 4 years of usage over this product though it costs you 550 rupees and uh, have 8 gram of a product here. Let's open this up and see. So this is what the packaging do looks like. I literally love the packaging as I said you in the beginning. So yeah, really very fancy. Okay, so I okay, so this is a mess right here. It gives you with this sponge which is present here, and I have opened up the seal because I have just done a little bit of a 
the swatches on my hand but I haven't tried out onto my face so this comes with this puff and there was a seed present inside which I just took that up and all the powders are just going from here to there, there to there, everywhere. So uh, let's talk about and uh, see what the products will claim about this sort of uh, product. It says that a first of its kind finishing powder influenced with the natural goodness of aloe vera and green tree extract. It's a lightweight finishing powder provide a translucent matte finish to give an oil free look which I'm gonna see really. Antioxidant help fighting the damage, damaging effects of city pollution so your skin stays glowy every day. So these are the things which the product do claim about and uh, as it says that it's give a mattifying look i really want to see that and it's only comes in a one shade like i got interested like it's a one shade and it says it's a universal shade and india has a lot of skin tone very good minded like me so yeah let's check this out moving on with the texture first of all i'm going to talk about the texture let me have a little bit onto my finger and swatch it for you guys i'm gonna swatch it so hmm texture wise it's really very really soft it feels like it's gonna melt into your skin very perfectly so yeah i love the texture it's really very smooth very smooth which i'm totally impressed so it do not contain any sort of uh, what i can say a smell like so if i wash it from the outside of this jar it seems to me like it's a highlighter though i feel like it has a shimmery effect though i can't find it till now but as i can see it from the jar outside it feels like it's a highlighter powder but i don't know let's flat your face with this finishing powder and then i'm gonna talk about this roll out Okay, I'm using this same sponge which they provided my hair just to excuse this so first of all I'm gonna apply it under my eyes I'm like really nasty like I wasn't expecting this I think I have done a little bit much which I shouldn't but never mind actually I've heard a quite a lot of thing about this finishing powder though when the first time when I opened up this seal and I just swat it onto my hand I feel like this turns out to be a little bit uh, you know shimmery kind of a finishing powder so that time I was like mm, though I haven't applied uh, it on my, onto my face at that time so it seems to be like a little bit of a shiny in a texture but as it says that it mattifies your look and it's a translucent finishing powder I just flat out my whole entire face with it so let's see what it does though I have uh, seen a lot of mixed review that it kind of work as a highlighter powder you have some shimmery thing going on but uh, you know whether you don't try it first off onto yourself you can't come with any sort of conclusion because everyone has their own uh, preference and own uh, reviews about any, any sort of thing right so let this be bake a little and i will be right back as it was uh, on my face for a few minutes finishing powder it has to be like uh, in a very velvet kind of a texture very velvety soft kind of a texture but as I've applied it onto my skin it's not at all providing any shine it has a little bit of a shine which is not exactly like a shimmer shine it's so much uh, shiny like a highlighter kind of a shine it do not have at all like that I really love this finishing powder dude like oh my god this is what I'm pretty loving it like wow it's really mattifies my look very well it do not like move out my concealer and my foundation and it's pretty 
damn good like you know like i'm loving it like i wasn't having so much of a hope with this finishing powder but um yeah it satisfies my look pretty well till now it's pretty work perfectly though i have heard that it has a little bit of a shine which is true but um uh, it do not have that kind of a shiny or texture here like kind of a highlighter highlighter is somewhat very different but it do have a little bit of a shine which i can't explain which kind of a shine but uh, it magnifies my look pretty well and it uh, does a pretty pretty job pretty good job like i'm impressed i'm impressed till now uh, so let's move on with next product the next product which i'm going to be using is a somewhat called a uh, gel kajal thing this is their kajal this is a like my 9 to 5 natural gel kajal infused with aloe vera aloe vera it's aloe vera and calendula oil so let's open up this baby okay. get this let's see what it says um we get a uh, Four year of usage over this product, as well as its retail cost of four hundred rupees, and we get a three gram of a product here. And it says that try Let Me Ninety Five Natural range of makeup for a city bright look every day. A first of its kind of pot kajal, which with an application uh, applicator, sorry, with an applicator is infused over the natural goodness of aloe vera and calendula oil. Super intense black for defined eyes. Perfect for your everyday bright look. Waterproof. Okay. Okay. So it intensely black. So I'm really very bad at eyeliner. So I'm gonna try and do it as much as possible. So मैंने ये वाला जो काजल यहाँ पे swatch किया था. Let me smudge it. Oh, do not say that it's a smudge proof. बट टेस्ट करने में क्या जाता है चलो टेस्ट कर लेते हैं सो ये हल्का स्मच करता है सो इट इज अच काइंड ऑफ काजल सो आई एम डन विद माई आई लाइनर एंड आई होप दैट दे आर लुकिंग आइडेंटिकल आई डोंट वॉन्ट वन शुड लुक साउथ एंड वन शुड लुक नॉर्थ बट आई एम रियली वेरी बैड विद माई आई लाइनर सो फार सो गुड द आई लाइनर वॉज रियली वेरी गुड द एप्लीकेटर वॉज रियली डिसेंट I do not find it so much worth it because uh, it's really very difficult to win with this. So yeah, the applicator would be like okay for me, not over the thing. But the liner is pretty damn well. It's really very mousey kind of a texture, which yet it feel a jet black look, which pretty decent. Though it's not a matte gel eyeliner because I can see a glossy effect on my eyeliner pretty well. Hmm, pretty decent. Not so pretty, so good. So far, so good. Let's move on with the next product, which is absolutely the lipstick, which I was really very excited. So let's begin with that. So this is a Lakme Nine to Five Natural Matte Stick Influence with Aloe Vera and Honey. It has a three years of warranty here. And its retail cost of five five zero, and uh, we get a two point two gram of a product here. Though this is in a form of a crayon, kind of a matte lipstick, in a crayon form, as you can see it. The same packaging, which it's belong with the range. It has, I think, fifteen shades here, which is perfectly nude, red, pinkish undertone, which is perfect. I got it in the shade a uh, spicy street. And let's see what this product claims to be. So it says that a first of its kind matte stick lip color, influenced with the natural goodness of aloe vera and honey. Use this unique slim chubby to precise line your lips and fill them in to get defined fuller lips. The intense color pigments glide on. Smoothly to give a long-lasting soft matte finish. This is what the product is claiming for. I got the shade Spicy Street, and let's roll on with that. So, as 
as you can see, I've applied this lipstick. Uh, this is it. It says that it's a matte lipstick. I don't know. Like, I'm totally a shock with this. This is not at all matte. Though the color is really very perfect, this is a perfect kind of a nude for my skin tone. Let me swatch it here for you guys. Perfectly. So this is the shade, but it do have a shimmers here. This is a shimmer. Like I can see the gold kind of uh, shine here in this lipstick. I don't know whether the camera is picking it up or not, but I'm gonna let you people see in a very close up the shade is perfect for me but i'm not gonna be uh, liking this lipstick a lot because i don't like something shimmers onto my lips because i feel like it's um like everyone has their own choice though i have my own that it's okay for me but i will not be preferring this lipstick so far because dude it's simmer and i don't love something which includes a shimmer rather than my highlighter so yeah so that is what I've come across with this the one thing which I just want to see whether it's reduce uh, like transfer uh, easily or not so wait a second So do not leave any sort of stain which is perfect do not leave any sort of stain on the glass so that is perfect the next thing i just want to do is uh transfer proof so as you can see it's not at all transfer though which is pretty surprising but one thing that i have noticed that if you're gonna eat something oily like your lunch dinner or somewhat it would really come out very easily i do not find this lipstick to have a longevity but though i can say that it has a three to four hours of longevity till you don't eat or drink anything shades perfect for me my skin tone i would rather prefer it do not include any sort of shimmer i would love them a lot but it do include a gold shiny kind of a texture which is not at all um, for me but rather than i can roll on with that without having any doubt so yeah that was all of that stuff which was i was like which was i got so yeah that was all of the stuff which i have just experienced in front of you guys this is just like a first impression for me and yeah now it's time to put my thought and the way my skin tones ought to be and any sort of thing but first of all uh, getting into the thought of the products which i have used in this video first of all i'm going to zoom you up so that you can see my skin the way my makeup is looking and how does the products do work so let's come closer So in this video you have seen all of the products which I have tested out by the new range and let's begin up to my thought what I feel about these things and whether I'm satisfied or not or all that kind of a zazi issue that everyone used to have like everyone has their own preference and differences while regarding any sort of brand though I do have that so let's see what works perfectly and what don't work perfectly for my skin so the first thing which i'm gonna be talking about uh, this aloe vera gel okay uh, frankly speaking this is really very good kind of a moisturizer beneath your makeup um, as a primer it can uh, work because it do have aloe vera gel you can use this uh, moisturizer as a primer uh, it is a very good affordable kind of a primer though uh, it will provide a nice kind of hydration but you can use it in your daily 
uh, you know daily purposes i will not suggest you if you are doing your heavy duty makeup like a very glam makeup i think this will be perfect for a very natural day to do uh, kind of a makeup it will work as a moisturizer and as well as a primer so this is gonna be perfect for that kind of occasion i really love the texture one thing that i really don't love about this gel is that it has so freaking strong smell next thing which i just want to talk about is the finishing powder okay first of all frankly speaking i wasn't happy with the texture uh when i have just swatched it onto my finger just i did not apply it onto my face but the day time when i applied it uh it was pretty very different kind of a finish like uh it has a very velvety kind of finish it doesn't mean it has a lot of kick off a shine but it do include a shine it do include a, some sort of shine uh, this will be perfect for the time when you want a mattified look though you also want a little bit of a shine but it could not be used as an highlighter while i have like saw a lot of review where uh, people are used to say that this is going to be also be really perfect for like a highlighter because uh, you know it has a very nice uh, soft kind of shine to it uh, but yeah you can use this as a finishing powder which will be perfect it do not give you a lot of kick back as an highlighter but uh, it do mattifies your face very well being as an oily i can say that it's really mattify my face a very pretty decent well uh so yeah i i'm totally impressed with the finishing powder too which was really very uh, kind of unexpected thought while using it like when i used it i pretty find it very good it's do not find me so much of a, you know kickback of a, a shiny texture but yeah i'm loving it so moving on with the next product this is a uh, gel eyeliner now now i really love this it's really very really perfectly glides into your eyes uh, it's do not have uh, like a very thick consistency though it do have a very moosey kind of and thing which is a perfect uh, it's not a jet black at all it has a very glossy like it provide a glossy a kind of eyeliner look so it's not at all that kind of black though it's really very really pigmented but it's smudged very easily i do not find this applicator worth it because like i can't do it anything with this applicator so it will be little bit very much difficult for me to do my wing eyeliner with this uh, so yeah this is just like okay for me the next thing which i'm going to be talking about is the lipstick i was impressed with the uh, shades they have like a 15 different shades but uh, guys like uh, this says that it's a matte stick lipstick but it's not at all matte guys like oh my god it provide a very uh, this shade especially provide a sign to it which i wasn't at all happy about it because i'm not a girl who really love a very shiny kind of lipstick i'm not so much impressed with the lipstick yeah these are my opinion and thoughts regarding these things i hope you have really loved and enjoyed make sure you do that hashtag one which i have sent you at the beginning of this video let me know what you want me to do review buy your like me products only and yeah these are my opinion and thoughts regarding this and lakme 95 range and i hope you have really loved and this is the thing which is just flat out my face with this lovelies so yeah i will be seeing you in the next video with some another new launches till then bye bye i love you and i'm going to see you very soon